That's a little Obama for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. Real quick, y'all. Uh, Obama. Real quick. We gotta get out of here. Obama. Be careful. Be careful. This system is so corrupt. It's so filthy. <clears throat> They can't produce good leaders. Any leaders that come up in this corrupt system that's a good leader, they get rid of those leaders. I'm not a voting man, but Kucinich was better than Obama. Kucinich, he's been Obama. Yeah, he was. Because he's dealing with America as an empire, he's dealing with some real serious issues. They said, oh, no. No, 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 no. You've got to go. It's a corrupt system. It's a very corrupt system. So I understand, I, I know how it looks. You should see what it's doing to the black community. Oh my God. <laughs> serious fit in the black community. Obama's causing serious fit in the black community. I made the mistake of saying to some brothers and sisters, if Obama wins the president, if presidency, it will set us back 200 years. Them brothers and sisters almost, huh? they almost, they almost beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> they said, how can you say that, that if Obama becomes the president of the United States, it will set black people back at least 200 years. How can you make a statement like that? I said, here's how. Around the world, black folks got a little bit of respect because of our cultural resistance. When people get on the news and say, do not go to that part of the world. <laughs> Stay away, it's dangerous for Americans. They ain't talking about black folks. <laughs> I'm being real with you. They ain't talking about us. They ain't talking about us. We can go. <laughs> because we got respect. We got respect. No, they, we got respect. And they'll say, oh, man, oh, Black Panthers, oh, Malcolm X, Martin, yeah, 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 cool. So you go in. You know, you go right to the front of the line. You know what I'm saying? It's a trip. It's a trip. You go to the front of the line, right? So we can go. Because of our reputation. Now you're telling me that you won't put a black man at the head of the empire when America's the most hated country in the world right now? And you're gonna go do your dirty work? You're gonna go ahead and steal Africa some more? You're gonna steal all these countries and put a brother on the front line on that? You messing up our reputation. So when Obama gets in, he's setting us back. It's not a celebration. No, it ain't. There ain't no celebration. If Obama gets in, one, is because of power that, you know, the rich white men, they wanted them in. That's one. Two, that means they get ready to do some serious dirt. And Obama has to justify it. Change, change, change. Right? He's got to justify it. And so all I'm saying is be careful, y'all. If you don't get into Obama mania, don't lose your sense of reality. No, seriously, don't lose your sense of reality. One, America will vote for black men. The first lady, the most important woman in this country, a black woman. America? When did America go through a re-education process? That's what I want to know. I'm talking about racist America. When did America, you know like Saddam is good, Saddam is good, then Saddam is bad, Saddam is bad. When did black folks go through that process? Uh, I'm wondering white folks go through that process. Black people are bad. Black people are bad. Black people are good. Like, when did they go through that process? I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed it. But when did they go through a re-education process to look at us differently? I must have missed it. All right? So all I'm saying is that I doubt it. But don't lose your sense of like reality. Obama got a fight against the military industrial complex. Obama got a fight against the Pentagon. Obama got a fight against the Israeli lobby. Obama got a fight against the Congress, the House, and the Senate, who's already in the pockets of the Israeli lobby. Obama got a fight against the international bankers. He's going to do that all by himself. That ain't real. That ain't real. That's not the kind of problems that America's having, y'all. The America's having a type of problems where you got to change that bad boy like a whole group of people like a large number of people from the outside. This is it. <laughs> so when you get into this Obama mania thing, 
Be careful with Obama man. I'm very, very careful with Obama man. You know? But I ain't saying you don't do this or don't do that. That's you do your thing. I know all the youth are behind it. Youth. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And you know, then the black folks are behind the other people. Obama can do it. He can do it. And all I'm saying is that the system is going to let you down. And then when the system lets you down, not if, when the system lets you down, come back outside the system, get organized, get mobilized, and let's really do this thing like it's supposed to be done. Let's put pressure on the system from the outside. That always works. That always works. So be careful about me. Thanks very much. I'm sorry, man. That's my